Member for New Westminster Burnaby. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. I had flashbacks when uh, the member was speaking because, of course, we lived through the terrible, terrible years of the Harper regime. So when he said, well, I'll take care of health care, we saw what the Harper regime did, which was gutting health care across the country, leading to the crisis that we see today. When he talks about credential recognition, Madam Speaker, I heard the same speech from, from Harper and his uh, his minions uh, just before they formed government, and the reality was they did nothing on credential recognition. They doubled the cost of housing. They increased and doubled uh, the lineups at food banks. I mean, the, the Harper regime was absolutely dismal. We lived through it, and that's why they were thrown out of power. Now that they're saying, well, this time we'll be better, I, I think they, it kind of strikes credibility. But. The, the member did say very clearly that Conservatives are going to uh, destroy pharmacare. That this, uh, in Cumberland, Colchester, where 17,000 of his constituents actually need the kind of supports that come uh, from providing supports for diabetes, the medication that can run up to $900 a month. So I'd like the member to say clearly to his constituents in Cumberland, Colchester, uh, are Conservatives going to gut? Pharmacare, do they refuse the kind of supports that 17,000 people in Cumberland Colchester need? Cumberland Colchester. Well, thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I'm not sure what fantasy land that that member was listening to the, again, the, the fantastic speech that I gave. Uh, but that being said, there was, there was no mention of anything that he said uh, in his question, so I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, but that being said, what we do know is that a new day and a new dawn and a new sense of hope is out there with Canadians because of the hope that we as a, the next Conservative government are able to give Canadians. When we know that the, that the damaging policies that the NDP Liberal Coalition have caused for Canadians, as I said, the numbers speak for themselves, Madam Speaker. 6.5 million Canadians do not have access to primary care. As far as the, uh, the great people of Cumberland Colchester, Nova Scotia, uh, much like my colleagues in the province, great province of Quebec, has a program for pharmacare that enables all Nova Scotians already to access a pharmacare program, which indeed covers even more medications than this, uh, than the one put forward by the in inept NDP Liberal Coalition gov government with their anemic uh, formularies that they so far have put forward. So. The, the great people of Cumberland Colchester have access to wonderful programs, and those are the things that a, a, a Conservative government should be supporting in the future, Madam Speaker. Yeah, yeah. Yep, right